have this HR12 um, with some error codes. There is a error codes coming up straight away. And you can see that symbol on the top right corner. Uh, and these two error codes. So 01F8, that's going to be linked with the master drive controller. And 01F7 is going to be linked to the slave drive controller. I think I have a boom functions. Yeah, the motor is running. So I would have a boom function, but I have no drive. Um, I'll try to see uh, what the motor controls are doing, if they're flashing any codes or anything. And then we go from there. Just looked into those arrows codes quickly. And uh, the one is saying, 01F800E0, is actually saying that it's waiting for a node I wonder if it's waiting for the slave controller and the next one 01 F7 001 E is uh, VMN power bridge low so basically he's just suggesting check the phase connections uh, to the motor and if the phase connections to the motor is good then I would possibly suspect the motor controller fault or internal internal motor control fault so maybe that's gonna be just a straightforward fix just replace the controller and it's gonna be good to go so i removed the covers off here so we can see the controllers that's a two drive controller so on the left hand side here is a slave and on the right hand side is a master and what i have here now you can see the leds flashing that was free one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we've got the code 399. So number three means that the master controller, which is this one, reporting an error, and the error code is 99. So in most cases, 99 means there is a hardware failure inside the controller. Um, so I'm gonna have a quick look around the plugs, uh, wires, and uh, possibly I'm gonna try to replace the controller. But at the same time, I'm thinking maybe we should try to do voltage check on the phases because uh, the, one of the error codes was saying the slave controller had some issues with the, with the voltage on the phases. So let's see what's the difference uh, between those. All right, let's see. So on, so I use a ground here as a, this black negative. Um, on a supply to the contactor. So this is a main contactor. I have 48 volts, which is good. Output from the main contactor on the next stud here. I have the voltage of 43 and that's just fluctuating, it's changing. Uh, and that voltage is way lower. And the reason is that the contactor is open, okay? So on the phases, let's see what we have here. That's a master controller on a phase. I have 11 volts. Um, on the next phase, 11 as well. And on the last one, I have 11 as well. Now the slave controller, that's a phase wire, is it? Or is it? not yeah that's a phase so on a slave controller on a phase i have zero on the next phase i have zero and the following phase i have zero so now <laughs> that's interesting i wonder which one is right hmm? what do you think is it master right or the slave right should you have a voltage on the phases or you shouldn't? I wonder where is the pump controller at the front, so I'm not gonna be able to reach it easily. I have to take covers off. So I think possibly we should have a voltage like on a master, because the master controller would send the voltage into the phase uh, into the motor phases. I would imagine it would be checking if the motor is there, if it's connected. Uh, where the slave doesn't do that. So 
So my guess is possibly is that is a slave controller is a faulty. Uh, and the error codes we looked at earlier was suggesting that the master is waiting for the node and it's not getting anything so potentially from the slave. Uh, at the same time, it was suggesting issues with the with the phases, so maybe both, not too sure. But I think I, I will try possibly to go with a slave, which is that one. And that, but again, the thing about it is this uh, flash code is suggesting the problem with the with the master. So maybe the master not right. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Maybe the master not right because your slave controller is off now. So the master is should be off as well in terms of the phases because the contactor is open. So we don't have any power going in. So the, the, the controller maybe shouldn't be checking phases. I think the best way to do it now is to open the front of the machine there, take that cover off and check uh, what the pump controller is doing. Yeah, let's do that. Right, we are at the front now. Um, so that's the pump controller and you can see LED is flashing, yeah? So it's flashing, should be flashing one and one. That's, it's kind of like a status light showing there is no errors with it. So I'm gonna do the voltage check on the phases here. Now the controller is on, it's operational. And then after that, I will trigger the fault on the controller and we will see if it's, what's the voltage on the phases is going to have. Okay, so I've got my ground connector right there. So the contactor, so supply to the contactor is here. And that is 48.28 and the output on the contactor is 48 to 8 so it's exactly the same so that's the way it should be that's good that means the contactor is on now let's do the phase check all right so 0 0.4 volts and that is 0 0.4 as well and the last phase down there 0 0.4 okay so that's good so we have 0 0.4 so now i'm going to disconnect the contactor that should trigger the fault with the controller. We should get error code flashing here. One. There is no error code. Okay, let's restart. Should have additional error codes here, which we do, yeah. Oh, one F1, so that means the pump controller. And now, three, one, so 31. And I think the error code 31 will tell you that there's a pump, uh, the contactor open, yeah. That's the error code. All right, let's do the face check again. Oh, check this out 11. The next one, 11. Okay, and the last one, 11. Oh, so that's a good news for us because we we seeing the same behavior as with the master drive controller. So I think it's safe to say that we're going to change the slave controller and that's may gonna solve the problem. All right, let me just Reconnect everything back up here. So, it's yeah, so I think because we're getting the same 11 volts on this master controller, um, I will go by the fact that there is no voltage on that one at all, um, and we're going to replace a slave because. The master is waiting for the node, which means he's not getting information from this controller. And the slave reported fault with the phase voltage. So let me remove it, put a new one in, and I will update you. All right. 
new controller is in as you can see nice and shiny on the left hand side that slave controller so in theory these controllers should be plug and play i haven't tested that yet but we're gonna do it together i hope that our diagnostics was correct and that uh, that's the faulty one and that is the old one and here you possibly can see potentially the reasons why it has failed but uh, that's that's not to worry about that and let's try isolator out machines coming on uh -huh. I heard the two clicks but now it's locked up why oh we unlocked himself good okay so no error codes right which is a good thing and um, what the led is flashing now it should be one one remember just like a status line one one okay so that is looking good so i think we were spot on the assumptions it's just interesting because uh, the error codes on the screen was slightly different uh, by what led was giving if i was going just by led um i would possibly was going to replace the master controller uh, this one here because the error code was saying 399 and normally that is a fault with the actual controller but I think the display error codes was giving us more details into what is happening and obviously the voltage check uh, helped us to narrow it down to the right one which is very good to know so let's, let's do the voltage check now and just see what sort of voltage we have now the system is on um, just for the reference so we know next time I'm gonna use the same ground as before and um, let's see so this one we had last time 11 and now we have 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 and I think that's exactly what we had at the front right so when we check the pump controller 0 0.45 the slave one here I'm measuring now 0 0.45 and that's possibly 045 okay that's good so now what i'm gonna do i'm going to switch the machine off and i'm going to disconnect the main contactor so then we're expecting to see the error code remember like we had at the front was a flashing 31 but here is going to be slightly different and we should see the arrow code flashing is 331 which is still 31 but it just tells that the master PLC, uh, the master controller will be uh, flashing that code. Okay, so let's try that and then we're going to do the voltage check for the reference and then I'm going to do some more function testing just to make sure it's all good. Okay, so that is disconnected. So we're going to trigger the error. The machine's coming on. M symbol now. I wonder why is no error codes? Huh? There is no error codes. But we have an M symbol. Okay, that's interesting. But now let's see an LED. That was three. Three and one. You see? So three, three, one again. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one. So the same code error code thirty one. The three at the front means that this master controller representing error. If that would be four at the front, that would mean that the slave is sending the error. All right. Oh yeah, voltage check. I nearly forgot that. So with the voltage eleven, just like we've seen before. On all phases we have 11, we do, and on the slave controller we have 11 as well. Can you see that? Um, yeah, let me move this slightly out of the way. 11, right? 
here we go and we had a zero before okay so that's definitely good um just gonna do function test and i think uh, it's gonna be good to go back to service okay so all working fine been driving for a while now and there is no error codes drive is perfect so good as new no more problems okay thank you for watching hope you find something interesting um, i'll see you in the next one